The last few years have encouraged what was already a definite trend towards a cloud-first strategy for organizations like CPL. You moved your virtual environment to Viatel's FlexiCloud. Can you tell me some of the benefits you've experienced with that move? Mm -hmm. So CPL was traditionally a colo data center um, that we had with a different party, a third party. And we had about uh, 30, 40 servers in those various racks and uh, we had all the pains and aches that goes with that, the day-to-day -day management of those physical servers. Um, we had noticed that a lot of our servers were starting to age, and disks were failing, fans were going, and a lot of my team's time was being spent looking after those servers on a day-to-day -day basis. So we said to ourselves, look, are we going to replace those servers and buy brand new ones from our provider, or are we going to look at the likes of um, Azure and AWS and Viatel and FlexiCloud and these places as well? Obviously, we chose the Viatel route. And the reason we did that quite simply was we didn't want the guys to be spending their day to day in managing physical servers, managing all of these bits that can go wrong. And that's a commodity that we prepare to pay for now. And, you know, Viatel are experts in what they do in that space. So we decided to move all of our servers to a virtual world and move them into um, Viatel. There's cost savings to come with that. There's obviously time savings, efficiency savings. My guys' time is much better spent doing other things now rather than keeping the lights on. Uh, with physical servers. That was the main reason, they, those are the main reasons why we decided to move them into Viatel. You mentioned there, Keith, that you had considered Azure and AWS and ultimately opted for the Viatel private Flexi Cloud environment. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what made you choose that private environment as opposed to a public cloud offering? Mm -hmm. So, look, both the Azure and AWS offerings are, are very appealing and they're, they're very good in their own right. But I suppose there are two main factors why we went with the Viatel side of things. Uh, one, was cost control. I think it's well known that um, you can get these bill shocks, as they call them, from the likes of Azure and Amazon, where an invoice for you know tens of thousands of euros can, can arrive in your desk based on one person's you know silly actions within those particular platforms. Uh, whereas with Vital, you know, we have a contract in place, we have agreed pricing, and we know what our, our boundaries are each month. So that was a huge one for us, cost control, and be able to manage those costs and, and uh, keep them under control. The second one was most definitely the relationship piece. Again, it goes without saying, with those uh, partners like Azure and AWS, if you have a problem, you know, you're ringing into a call center and you're one of hundreds of thousands if not millions of customers who are in that queue looking to be, to be served and, and to be helped. Now, obviously, when something goes wrong on your side, you want somebody to ring and be able to understand how urgent your problem is. Unfortunately, you don't get that with the larger providers unless you pay for some kind of really, really expensive premium support. With Viatel, um, we have a long-standing relationship. You know, obviously, our relationship with yourself and the rest of the Viatel team. And I know that I can pick up the phone, as I have done in the past, <laughs> any hour of the day or night, uh, if we need assistance with something. And, you know, we trust you guys. I mean, we can trust the Viatel out there when we, when we need them, when something goes wrong, that you guys understand that a, a big problem on our side is, is a big problem on your side. And you, you understand that something goes we're wrong and it doesn't happen very often but if it does go wrong you understand and react in a fashion that we need you to do so that we can look after our um, our clients and our candidates